the metropolitan area, on the Mexico City, and he's been working a lot. He's a man of, of his family, you know, but he is he has been playing Samus for the longest time, and I'm actually kind of surprised he usually plays Pink Samus, but this time around, perhaps because of the switch from Hobby, we are seeing his main secondary, if you will, here in in Sheik, and what an edge guard to start things off, Javi. Very explosive right from the get-go. Confused. Why am I seeing Sheik Javi on screen right now? This is breaking my mind right now. Where's where's Fox Javi? Uh, Fox Javi is uh, taking vacation or something, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, like it, this is for sure one of his characters that he dabbles in with the most. Uh, he probably feels a lot more comfortable against the Samus, a little bit more floaty. Um, and yeah. he probably decided, if I'm going to try out uh, this character, it's going to be on the first match. It's, it's probably going to be on the first game of the first match, which is a good decision right there. He already has a, he's a stuck up. But uh, I do believe we are going to see Javi's Fox in this round robin. I do believe so, like especially, uh, for example, against JGAM, as you were saying, that yeah. chic matchup. I don't think he's too keen on, on the Dato here, especially if he's not super well practiced. So, yeah, I think it's more so of a comfortable pick because Dash does have a ton of experience versus uh, Fox. Oh, but he is not taking advantage of that ledge, ledge grab. And, of course, Javi's... Yeah, he's going to punish him for that. Yeah, so far he's not making it look like a secondary, is he? Looking like he's been playing uh, Sheik since 06. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe this is the true Javi that was... Uh, supposed to be the best player in the world at some point it was it was chic all along it was not about the fox yeah yeah all right well this is game one of a uh, best of five we're gonna be seeing here against hobby versus dash two different regions right they do play they, they played in a, each other a lot they do know each other don't they yeah yeah they've played uh, before i could check the stats later if you want me to but yeah They've definitely found themselves on bracket. Perhaps that is also a reason why. Oh, the he's gonna get the break? shield break, and let's see what's the punish because it's super low percent. So I think it's yeah, not gonna be very much, unfortunately, for a dash. Even though he did manage to put the pressure on Javi, he is not gonna capitalize as hard as he could have. He was really low percentage. He took his time thinking how the best way to punish it. He tried to set up with the with the bombs, but fortunately for him, didn't work out quite right. Uh, things are not going Dash's way on this first game. No, for sure they aren't. And I think that's a little bit of the tournament jitters uh, to begin with. Uh, how, True. Of course, Dash has, uh, for a long, long time, been a, been a top player in the metropolitan area, right? But the same way, like, Javi, you cannot deny the legacy, and he is going to start very, very strong this first game. Uh, like, I've, like I've said, I think it's a little bit of jitters on... On Dash's side, I've definitely seen him perform a lot more, and I know both of these guys probably very busy, right? So it, you don't always get the chance to like get down on the sticks uh, for as long as you'd like. But oh, sure. uh, that's not going to mean that they don't want to win this for sure. And the second game, uh, I think there is no reason whatsoever at the moment for Javi to switch. Very comfortable, and also like we did see this matchup a little earlier and it was very bad for for samus so i, I think there's no denying that yeah, but let's see if true. experience uh, like helps dash at all two things to keep in mind is these guys a know each other b they've been looking at uh each other play all day they've been warming up they've been getting tips from other players you know they've been very uh they've been paying attention to to what they're gonna do so everything everything uh every little detail is gonna be gonna have to be considered in every in every matchup they have right now oh there's the pink samus right now yeah that was one that's what i'm talking about the true main right there i have actually never seen dash play any other color other than pink and here forced to recover and missing the grapple onto the ledge oh and no. no longer it was no longer available yeah a little bit of a, of a flub right there from Dash. It, it, it feels like, well, it is his first game today. So it's understandable to have a little bit of, you know, the jitters like you were saying. Let's hope that, that you know, it passes and he just gets into his rhythm and plays his game. Yeah, I think the longer the set goes, like he is going to start coming onto his own. Here, putting the pressure, trying to abuse uh, the cancels on the platforms that Samus does have 
with the missiles, putting pressure again with the tilt and the aerials, and he's gonna close it out, bring it back to even, but uh, there's the ever looming threat of uh, like Sheik's grab uh, even at, at this point in time, and of course like Sheik is really good in, in battlefield, like maneuvering around the platforms. Yeah, which makes me wonder why did we go back to battlefield again? Uh, that, that's that's what I'm asking as well. Like, if you are playing it three out of five, oh, he um, missed again the grapple. Yeah, he's constantly missing those. Like, I I feel like I am repeating myself, but yeah, quite uncharacteristic oh. from Dash and falling, not getting into the ledge. I don't think that uh, getting battlefielded was gonna even be uh, a thing at that point. He just missed straight up the ledge. Yeah, he completely missed it. It's I don't know. He's he needs to uh, just take a minute. Take a breather and just find his game. Yeah. On the other exactly. hand, Javi, Javi hasn't been doing anything uh, super exceptional. He's been playing a very solid neutral game, finding his spots and then just punishing right. You know, uh, he has gone out there and and, and looked for those fairs off stage, uh, but that's about it. Other than that, he's just playing a straight up, uh, you know, floor charty cheek. Yeah, sometimes you don't need to overcomplicate things, right? Yeah. You pretty much can keep it cool and simple, and it's gonna work because of the nature of the character. Finally, getting that grapple into the ledge. And she just needed one. Is, yeah, you want to get the confidence back, but one up smash also to close it out. Javi looking to repeat the same score that he got last time on the, on the tree stack, though it's looking a little less likely this time around. Yeah, it is. All right, well, it's uh, a one-stock situation here for Dash in game number two of Block D, Group D, here in uh, the Smash World Tour Central America Regional <laughs> Finals. That was nice. Yeah, that was the Nair. A quick, super quick move, of course. Uh, gonna help in combo break. And Javi seems to have a big read on Dash's movement on the platform, and I thought he was gonna keep comboing him vertically, but it seems that he's just gonna be very contempt trying to pressure uh, Dash on the ledge and here come the bombs again. Yeah, the triple bombs right there. Looking Taking good. The top. Uh, it feels oh. like Dash is, 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 is starting to come back, uh, like he's finding his rhythm right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not too late for him on this game. Maybe he can make it a one-stock situation for Javi too. Yeah, I think this is... Well, you have a long set, right? <laughs> problem is that you're playing against one of well is historically who historically has been a mexico's best player yeah, exactly and so, that an america's best player oh he oh he, was that on purpose uh, i don't know i don't know at this point <laughs> yeah at this point because it actually hit and he grabbed the yeah. ledge but it's mm -hmm. kind of risky right there on your last stock to do something like that if it wasn't purpose yeah oh I this, mean, those needles oh he goes out he, there he's gonna make it back Trading again at this point, the dash, of course, has a lot of survivability with Samus, but uh, we've seen the edge guards and how brutal they are, and only a couple of needles, and that's all it takes. Javi seems very, very comfortable, just not even trying to overcomplicate things. Uh, just yeah. straight, in, straight laying down the smackdown, but in a very calm manner, dare I say. Like, it just it, it feels almost nonchalant the way that Javi is playing. The spacing too. He's got like, uh, he's got the spacing from the set. It's pretty far away. He likes, huh. he, he likes to uh, zoom out to get a full appreciation of what's going on on the, on the on the CRT. We're on game number three, and uh, it's Pokemon Stadium. This is uh, the counter pick he went for. Finally decided not to go again. Battlefield. He's gonna have a lot more space now. Maybe he can do exactly this, right? Start shooting his missiles. Start shooting his his uh, 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 projectiles and. Hopefully get some damage and then finish off Javi's stock. Yeah, because of the height of Pokemon Stadium's platforms, like Samus does have the option to go for those uh, canceled missiles. And so it's a little bit faster. Dash is going to get the punish here and the charge shot, but not fully charged, so it's not going to finish there. Javi getting a read on the drift that Dash was doing, and finally the grapple is finding its mark, and he's going to hang from the ledge. No, this... the. Just the first part of the up B, and that trade is definitely not gonna work out for Javi. Uh, so Dash is finally coming into his own here. Yeah, it looks like uh, also the space here in Pokemon Stadium is really helping him. That's gonna be the first stock for Dash. And this is the first time we've seen him up in a set. 
First time in this set, he still had a jump. Of course, he was going to trade with the screw attack. They're not quite doing the job just yet, but the needles are an ever looming threat. The dash this time cleaning around the recovery. And of course, that is very standard, but this is the first couple of times that we've seen him actually made it effective. Smash, I wonder if that was a flood. Um, perhaps, perhaps. Not Samus's best uh, move in his arsenal. Gotta Definitely. And here we go. We're setting into a neutral stage again, and let's see. We see Javi uh, stepping on the gas, going in. He's not gonna let uh, Dash get that distance and start uh, messing with him from a distance anymore. <laughs> oh, had he, he missed his Waveland right there, and Dash a little desperate for recovery there. And so he's gonna up B once more, even though he had a lot more options. He seems to be, uh, well, a little more desperate. Like, Javi has for sure put on the pressure and a lot more confident uh, by the ledge, perhaps, is what Dash needs. And he is going for Super, super Dash. <laughs> yes, of course. That's one of his favorite moves. So I uh, I was quite surprised that we had not seen that quite yet, but at least uh, showing that uh, the tech skill is there. Sure, it's always great to see flashy moves like that, especially when he uh, danced it so well. And, uh, oh, there we go. He caught him. It's, this is the closest set we've seen so far. And it's really uh, javi is trying to keep that distance short dash doing his best not to let him and just trying to catch him off guard and let's see if he can get this stuck yeah he's again uh, i do think it, it might seem like it's gonna get very very much even quickly it all it's all gonna depend on how well is dash able to just uh, uh, avoided that fair, but uh, as soon as I said that, of oh, course, both missed. they both missed <laughs> their grabs right there. A little harder to miss your grab with cheek than it is with uh, Samus, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Especially when when he was lagging for like forever, four years over there. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like she was doing some handy dandy work here on Pokemon Stadium, just trying to fix that uh, woodwork over there. Yeah, but I love Javi what he's doing. He's uh, just putting a wall of aerials out there every time Dash is uh, approaching him. Oh, the raw again. He read that. He absolutely read that grab. He knew he was coming and the fair works. He's off stage. He's going to make it back. Let's see what he can do now. All right. Range jump once again. Just uh, cutting short any sort of approach that Dash may try to bring into the table. Again, just Getting settled near, near the platforms, Dash, this is crucial that he doesn't trade that much damage because he is gonna really appreciate as much crash cancel percent as he can get so that he is, well, better equipped to deal with Sheik's tools. But here, the we see the, the approach from Javi very yeah. relentless, just very aerial based as well. The pressure is taking its toll, almost 90%. Yeah, that's going to be really hard to come back from right now. It's looking like a clean 3-0 from Javi, but let's not leap on Dash here. Maybe he has something up his sleeve. Perhaps Nair. he does, but he needs to buzz that out right now. Nair, I thought he was he was for sure going to go for, an, for, for, a smash, for a smash attack, but uh, he was not meant to be at that point. Dash He's probably going to sit it out. He's probably going to sit it out. Let's see if Javi goes out there. He doesn't really have to. I mean, there's no reason for him to go out there. Sure. I, I don't think uh, going into a pit war right now is in anybody's interest. <gasps> oh, that was almost very risky. Are they trading near that Whoa. ledge? Javi <laughs> just drop zones into that reverse forwarder to close it out. Clean, dominant 3-0 here for Javi. And he goes in for the hug because... Like, probably, like, a long time since is, these guys have seen each other, right? And, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. as both veteran members of the community, uh, you can tell there's a lot of respect going on there. That's fantastic. Now, from Javi, what we 